Hi friends, few days ago I bumped into a problem how to launch uh, Python script from uh, Power Automate Desktop Flow um, and uh, another uh, thing was how to pass variables into it arguments and how to get the result so um, I have prepared uh, this uh, very simple script uh, this script retrieves uh, arguments from command line uh, and it performs uh, some multiplication between uh, numbers and uh, prints uh, the result of multiplication so let's start so as you know uh, Power to my desktop provides um, us with the uh, run Python script action. You can find it here, right here, uh, system tab. But um, this action allows us to use only scripts re which are written uh, with Python 2 version. Uh, but what to do if we have a script written by uh, with uh, version number three so we will use uh, another action uh, which named as uh, run powershell script uh, but first of all what we need to do we need to uh, set up some uh, variables the first one this variable will contain the path to our python interpreter um, so in my particular case uh, i can find it right here so you need to find where this uh, interpreter located in your system. So select it and uh, copy, paste to it, uh, paste it right here. Uh, we don't need in double quotes. Uh, let's name it uh, like pass Python. Uh, another variable will like, will um, contain uh, the path uh, to our script. Let's name it like pass uh, script, and uh, let's copy it from here. We need uh, in uh, absolute pass. Uh, another variable will contain the number one the argument uh, let it be like 50 and another one will be number two uh, let it be like uh, five so we would like to multiply 50 and five and uh, the next step uh, we need to uh, use a run PowerShell script action. Uh, let's insert the first, first uh, thing. It's our uh, pass to Python interpreter. Uh, put uh, insert add one space after it. The next one is uh, pass to Python script. Again, one space. Uh, number argument number one space and argument number two so uh, we need we would like to visualize our result so we can uh, use message display message action copy this variable we don't need in this variable uh, scroll down a drag and drop display message action uh, put it here uh, and we don't need in this variable save and let's try yeah so as you can see we retrieved uh, the correct result so thanks, thanks guys if you have any question write it uh, in the comments see you later bye